Shit. Get the shell. Get the shotgun. Load the damn thing. No, oh, you moron, you drop everything. I think he's gonna be back in time soon. What the heck? Alright, so basically, we need to make sure that we talk to everybody to unlock new options. So I guess that's how this game works. I'm still kind of getting used to this store um, type of game style. So we need to find out more about this person. Um, do you have to go to the bathroom or anything like that? Her the background. Young woman can take care of herself. Oh, she yeah, can't. She's okay. like seven. What about you? Back in a bit. Okay. Luke. Okay, we can't talk to either of them. Interesting. We already showed interest in this guy. I believe. It's actually a piece of shit, but Hall's all right. Yep. So now we should be able to come over here. I've already met these two people. Look at Duck. How do I talk to Duck? Oh my gosh, you can scroll. Ugh. I did not know that. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. Revelations right here. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. <sighs> okay, this makes a whole lot more sense now. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? There we go. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you <laughs> Literally. Two length, that Ugh. sure speed things Dark up. humor. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Uh... Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh. uh not that. I had to shoot one. I could shoot one. Maybe. If it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How Interesting. about yours? How's your family? Uh, sure, let's get the first one. My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. Maybe. <laughs> That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Alrighty then. Let's go help Herschel. Now, I know if you uh, watch the, the TV show, there's a guy named Herschel who lives on a farm. And he's also a veterinarian. So, interesting. But it doesn't seem to follow the same story at all. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. A man asks you your name, you give it, unless that name is no good. How'd you get out of Atlanta? Um... I got a ride. I got a ride, and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well... You're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. 
Where's your family now? Parents, Dead. Wife, girlfriend? Uh, no family. No family. I had a betta fish on my desk at the university. I hope someone remembered to feed him. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yes. I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? No. <laughs> I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. And another thing, you're gonna have to figure out how to answer a goddamn question when someone asks. Go! I'll get my gun! Uh oh. <laughs> okay. We're gonna help the kid first. Uh beat him. No, rip the kid in half. <laughs> please, help me, please. about the boy. Look at him. But you weren't worried about that. Please. Just go. Get out and never come back. I don't think that will be a problem. <laughs> uh. Respect right there. We got this guy. He's got the boat. <clears throat> so we're gonna stick with him got that ride to make it if you want it. <laughs> I like how the boy like ran over the guy. Pretty evil. This is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Look! It's a person. Hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Uh, uh, nope. Fuck! We're trapped! Ah! No! 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 This kid. Hopefully he remembers that combo. And we can't just let people die either. 
When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. <laughs> we can hear you. Of course. They could have let them right to us. We Where have the hell is children. Your they would have died out there. Then we let them. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. <laughs> now she does. I'd go out there again in a second. Then just go. They've got kids, Lily. Mm. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. She's the leader here. Uh, I think I made the wrong like decision with the little girl. The if you were in my shoes, you'd be the... Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Or was he? I saved that kid's life. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Well, how do you prove that he's bitten? Body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? We kill him. Dad. It's just a boy. It, it's Lily, reason. Okay, we're gonna go with the reason. You need to calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here. And none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, you get it. It's a big deal. It's Larry, right? Man, this is his son. Look around, dumbass. I got a daughter in here. You got a daughter in here. Get your head Where is the daughter? We've all got people in here. We can figure this out without killing anybody. There's another way. Yeah. With a shovel. <laughs> I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Uh probably. This hey, guy. I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a She's kid. Gonna the door. In We're all gonna die. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does. The first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. Then we deal with it then, but right now we're just freaking everybody out. And get ready to deal with it because that boy is bitten. not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! Knock this guy out. Happily. Jesus! Oh, oh man. Ugh. <laughs> really? What do I do? Q! Professor Q! Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> you okay? Just great, thanks. Look at his hair. My god. Uh, guys. Hmm. Love that face. We're gonna get in. Shut up. Is that the military? Hopefully. I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Ah, ah. Heart attack. Was he the one that was bitten? Was he the one bitten? No, don't be crazy. It's his heart. 
My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Uh... We'll get in there somehow. Thank okay. you so much. Gotta help the jerk. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. That'd be great. Damn, that'd be great. Well, it's gotta get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know Macon. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight yeah, spot. Yeah, walkie-talkie. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Okay. Take energy bar. Do we eat it? Oh, okay, cool. We can store it for later. Uh, oh, right. Talk with everybody. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. <laughs> no, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. No, no. We gotta find pills. Uh, not right now. All right. Let me know if you want to. Sure. Uh, court board. <laughs> what are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. <laughs> yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Batteries. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. Huh. <laughs> so he's funny. Oh, <gasps> battery. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Okay, we can put those in the radio. Huh. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Nope. More photographs. I don't remember them very well. Hey, Lee. Maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. There were worse plans. <laughs> Says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? How should I know? Well, you'd <laughs> ask her. I'm just trying to do the best I can. You are all she's got. And from the looks of it, that's a two-way street. Katja, give the guy a break. No, Ken. We don't know how long this is going to last. That girl needs someone to be there for her. And from the looks of it, Lee could use the same. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? 
We let that boy die. I know, man. I know. It wouldn't have taken much. That's what I keep thinking. I keep seeing his face. <laughs> man, look at me. I don't know if I can carry this. What else is there to do? Interesting. More energy bars. Alright, so there's a door over here. What else do we got? More energy bars. <laughs> We're gonna need those later. I should probably be trying to find those nitroglycerin pills, but... Energy bars are more important. Definitely. ATM. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Oh, can't open the door. So there, who box? Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Yeah. Can we talk? Oh, batteries. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. What else can we do with this? Can we only talk to her? I guess we should do that now. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Huh. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. <sighs> that guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? <laughs> huh? Oh, nothing. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. I'm still looking for batteries for that day. Thanks. I appreciate it. Okay, so we need to find batteries and yep. a way into the back room. So we did see a door earlier. Where you talked to all these people on. and checked all these How things. How can I with those things out there? Let's go in the office. Alive inside? Are they still alive? Uh oh. Claw marks and blood is not a good sign. I can't. I can't think about them in here. <sighs> Look at first aid kit. First aid kit. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Yet, let's talk to her. Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah, well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? <sighs> I'm not gonna go looking for him. I mean... Get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Okay. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Uh, nothing else is in here. This door leads to the back alley. Okay, there's nothing else we can do with that alley. Let's search. Do we search it or do we need to look at it? I don't remember. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Okay. First aid kit. Well, I guess there's nothing in here then. Oh. 
give her a power bar. How's it doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. Are you sure? What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you. Yeah, <laughs> he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? We've got kids here. Family. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, barely seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Uh -huh. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. What do you think about all this? What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... More of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. That's right. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical Darn. admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Mm. Yeah. yeah. I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah. The owners, they were... Uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Hey there. This is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got to jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. Good thing he's gonna walk it down until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do. Somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Alrighty. Well, I don't know if there's a way to get in. Oh. The pills are in there. Okay. Can we smash the gate open? What's the point of giving them power bars? Not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Me too. Uh, we already did that. Ooh, newspaper. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Well, I don't see any way to open the thing, so. Hey, Carly. You ready? You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yep. Yeah. Let's go. 
hair needs. Kneecap him. Oh, never mind. Did you see that? Sure did. Be ready to shoot. Guys. Oh, man. I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn. All right, then. Wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen. I was out here looking for gas, and then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked, and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can't. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine, let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. <laughs> That's pretty. Let's have a look around. 